State Smart reached out to me and asked if I wanted to test out a portable laser that folds. Hmm. Oh, of course, I'm interested. It's a laser. It's portable. And it folds. That's pretty cool. Well, how small is this when it's folded? Well, that is an iPhone 12. Yeah, it is pretty small. Because in the pictures, as I'm using it, it'll look kind of big. But trust me, it's a pretty small laser engraver. Your engraving area is only about 8 centimeter square. Before we take it out of the box, let's go over some of its features. Well, yes, it folds. And it weighs about 6.35 pounds. It has a 5 watt 455 nanometer laser. It's good for a lot of more natural materials. It has a gavel head, and these are um, a couple mirrors that are inside, and it's great for accuracy and speed. One of the highlights is that it has an autofocus. You just press a button and it automatically focuses to the correct height. The build plate has two sides, one flat and one for raised. The raised is so you can go ahead and cut material. Now this has two buttons, but there's lots of combinations to get things to go the way you want. You can remove the magnetic plate and it's a pass-through. That way you could engrave on surfaces if you so choose. You get a USB Type-A and this is for a roller. I don't know how exactly it works because I didn't receive one. You could tilt the galva head in many different directions so that way you could engrave on an angle if you so choose. It comes with a phone app. We'll go over that a little bit later. It's not the most intuitive. And it has a 0 0.05 uh, millimeter accuracy for some tiny engravings. And it's a very small footprint. It, you just take this practically anywhere. And that's basically the first look. So why don't we go ahead and get to the unboxing and see how everything looks. And here it is. Pretty small box. Links to purchase in the description below. And, of course, it's well-packed. On the top, you'll have your manual and uh, some other little odds and ends, but presentation's really nice. Tools, accessories, safety glasses, power adapter, and the laser itself, all in its separate little compartments. Setup is just fast and easy. Tilt it up and then swing it out. You have three lines on the top to make sure it's level. You have two buttons to achieve different things. Quick press, long presses, and it says power button, but... I could never get to shut off or turn on with that power button. However, focusing is super easy. Put some material underneath and hit the plus and automatically focus. Man, for a small laser like this, that is awesome. As I mentioned, it does come with a mobile app. Scan the QR code for your type of device and it'll bring you to a laser app. This is kind of a universal laser app. I've seen it on other laser engravers and it's not the best. Click on material and you get pictures. And this is real time. That's how long it takes for those to load. So I'm gonna just pick on the butterfly. I'm not picking on it, I'm just choosing it. Wrong choice of words. But we'll see the material here and you'll see it says 10 watts. Huh, this is five watts. It's gonna take a little bit of time for you to um, test the materials to see what type of uh, power you're gonna use and carving speed. So, yeah, it's going to be hit or miss. Sometimes you're going to get the right combination, other times you're not. So, so testing is definitely something you're going to have to get used to with this laser if you're going to be using the mobile app. However, are you looking for quality? Let's check out today's video sponsor. And today's video sponsor is PCB Way. Are you looking for a PCB? Well, look no further than PCB Way. They're their one-stop shop for your PCB and manufacturing needs. You want to just generate a quote? Pretty simple. You could do a standard PCB, advanced PCB. You could do a FTC rigid flex PCB. You could do some assembly, and you could also do SMD stenciling. But that's not it. They also offer CNC and also 3D printing. <laughs> it's literally a one-stop shop for all your needs. You're looking for a little project to do? Look at the shared projects, and you could go ahead and. Basically order a whole kit and just do a little project that someone else has created. It's a great community section for to share your ideas and have other people build the projects that you are working on. And I would like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Before we continue on to this folding laser engraver, let's talk about safety. Yes, disclaimer time. 
This video is for entertainment purposes only. You are following these instructions at your own risk. Always, always wear approved eye protection. People and animals not wearing protection should stay away. And I am not responsible if you do not become a pro after watching this video. I would like to also do this additional warning that you should be operating this laser or any other laser in a well-ventilated area. Also, try to extract the fumes either through an outside window or through a filtration system. For this demonstration, I have a filtration system that I'll be extracting all the fumes. So wearing eye protection is an absolute must. With all that out of the way, let's continue on with the review of the Genmitsu Z3 portable laser. This is actually real time. I'm at about 50% power at 100% speed. Um, and it came out rather nice. You'll see the top of this is a little bit, didn't come out that well. <laughs> uh, that was at like 25% power, but very nice, nice and dark again. I changed this on the fly here because it just did not look great. Now let's go ahead and test out the app for it. <laughs> yeah, it's not any better. It's basic, really, really basic. And I don't even see a rotary on here anywhere. But you know what? This does get the job done. As far as I know, this is not light burn compatible. The app is actually on the USB drive that comes with the engraver. Even with the limitations of the desktop app that's included on your USB drive, I decided to go with that for the remainder of the video. You just get a little bit more control. It seems to be a little bit more solid of an interface. Even with the basic controls it has, it seems like you still get what you need done. So let's see what results I have achieved with this little laser. I did my logo here at 50% uh, power, 100% speed, and it came out really nice on this cardboard. So yes, it can do pictures. Next, I tried to cut through some uh, three millimeter basswood. This was done at 75% power at 10% speed, and it did not go through. I mean, it had some spots that looked like it was going to, but nope. So I decided to take another crack at it, 100% power, 5% speed and two passes. And that did the trick. Now, if you've never used a gavel laser before, this would be kind of new to you because the laser will approach it on an angle and your cuts will be on an angle as well. With a gantry, it's all straight up and down. So if you're looking to cut out something, I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of this. Next, I decided to do a slate coaster for the wife. Yep, this was at 75% power, 45% speed, and the rest default. Now there's a little bit of an imperfection in the slate where the daily value is. Otherwise, it came out really, really nice. Next, I did some black acrylic at 45% power and 70% speed. Came out really nice. You can see the contrast. And um, again, you want to make sure you're in a well-ventilated area, exhausting out. And here is a coated aluminum business card. This was at 90% powered and 100% speed. You should be able to crank these out rather quickly. And you may not need the high power. I just went with the first settings I picked. Now, given the size of the engraving area, you may not be doing glass all that often. Now, I used uh, tempera paint because it easily washes right off. It is permanently etched. Uh, let's throw a black card behind it so you can see it better. There we go came out rather nice. Any imperfections there is because I may have had a little bit thicker and thinner paint and uh, yeah, it affected it. And marking stainless steel. Well, I tried reducing the speed as down to one and 100% power, still couldn't do it. A little bit of marks there, but not enough. Well, we went over a lot of the pluses, but there's also needs for improvement, like the autofocus. Sometimes it just wouldn't work, and I have to unplug the machine and plug it back in to get it to work again. There's an extra USB port for the roller, but looks like the software 
isn't ready for it. The form factor is nice and small, but given its size, it may not be the right laser for everyone. And the fan is quite loud for such a small machine. And there's no power button, even though it says it does have one. I could find the controls to be a little weird because you're holding down and quick pressing to get the results that you want. Even with all these little quirks, I still had a blast using this machine. And um, I really hope that I've given you the information that uh, you need to see if this is the right machine for you. If you are looking to purchase, all the links will be in the description below. Now I do pay attention to the YouTube algorithms and everything, and I do see that a lot of people don't watch the video to the end. But for you that have, I have a surprise for you. My test machine, the one I'm using, is going to be passed on to a new home. And that new owner could be you. Yes, this very machine that I'm testing with, you can win it. All you have to do is be in the U.S., subscribe to the channel. Then in the comment section, all you have to do is make a comment. Say what you're going to use the laser for, what you're going to engrave, and type in portable laser for the keyword. The drawing will be on March 31st. It will be chosen by a random picker tool. It will search the comments for portable laser. If you are not subscribed and do not respond within 24 hours of your name being chosen, I will go ahead and redraw for another person. Hopefully these rules are um, very clear. And I really, really appreciate you tuning in to Tripod's Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend, or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you the next time on Tripod's Garage. Do you have any more of those little oyster crackers left? You ate them all!